The Brooks County Trojans were one yard short from advancing in the playoffs last season. It was a tough second round loss then, and it's a memory that's fueled them this offseason. The Brooks County Trojans, that's who we're talking about for tonight's Friday night overtime camp chat. Mother Nature making football an indoor sport for Brooks County for the second straight day. That heat index way too high for the guys to be outside. This team still working hard, though. They scrimmaged last week. Something Head coach Maurice Freeman said was good because they've targeted their weaknesses now. The Trojans working on being fundamentally sound. Coach notes they're strong on the offensive line. He likes the skill guys too. Now it's about getting over the hump and getting to play for a state title. We gotta do some things a little different in, in the, when it's time for playoffs. We've got to play harder. We've got to minimize our mistakes. We've got to stay healthy. There's so many entities to it that it's ridiculous, but we've got to find a way to push to the end. We need to play for a state title. They work hard, and I'm just excited about them. So, and they're excited about this game and play very hard for me, so I'm certainly pleased about that. So a lot of teams in our area in the Big Ben and South Georgia are playing preseason games this Friday night. Brooks County played their scrimmage last week. They've got this week to kind of kind of chill a little mm. bit, get, get away from that heat. Yeah. They start the regular season next week. They travel to Mitchell County to open up the 2019 season. All right. Well, the good or the bad, you know, everybody starts with a clean slate yes. at the beginning of the year. So. Yes. I would say one yard short last year, and I mentioned <laughs> it, and he was like, oh, my gosh. So it's been fresh on their minds, and I know they want to avenge that this season. All right, Cass.